Hey Familia Igni here, welcome back to Shadowverse. This video is sponsored by Psy Games. Check out the NGE Shadowverse Open, an official Shadowverse tournament. Links to the tournament as well as to download Shadowverse are in the video description below. Today we're showcasing a deck that actually won week 4 of the Open. A deck by MS Noah, Midrange Sword. I've been saying for a while now that Midrange Sword is still great, we just haven't found the right list and this may or may not be it, or maybe it's just that the tier 1 is too oppressive right now to really do anything about it. It does run Tsubaki and Fangblade Slayer at the same time, which is something I really like, because I do like both those cards. But before I would run either or, because I didn't think I'd need that much removal, but I guess you really do. Because Tsubaki is really good against Dragon, um, you know, against Evolved Sybil and stuff like that. And Fangblade Slayer is really good against pushing the final bit of damage you need to get past wards, uh, like Death's Breath. Now, I know a lot of people like Golden Brickertina, which is the 4 cost 3-4 that does... Uh, 2 damage or 5 if it's a neutral minion um, for removal, but this deck does run the classic Floral Fencer just to get on board, and that's kind of thematic with all the army and a can cards in the deck as well. You know, Geno to some extent, and of course Luminous Mage and all White Command, you just want to get on board, especially against Shadow. Oh, it's Shadowcraft, what a surprise. <laughs> I wish I could say that. Uh, I think we'll cut... Mm -hmm. Maybe Leader's just not that good at, on turn 2, huh? Um, I think we keep Grimnir for sure. I don't know, I will toss an Novice Trooper. I guess I'll keep the melee just to make sure I have a turn too. I really don't want to break with like a Subaki or something. Although Subaki would be nice against like a huge Reaper, I guess, later on. Uh, getting the Novice Trooper again. Uh, okay, it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. If we can Maid Leader into a um, Luminous, we might have might have a Stew going. Lyriel's really good uh, on 4. Against Shadowcraft especially because of all the Skellies. There's Soul Squasher. Now, this is why you keep Grimnir. You just kind of stall this out. Um, alternatively, I could Novice Trooper and kill this. The problem with that is that... Yeah, the problem with playing Grimnir is that I just, I'm just susceptible to a Catacombs, potentially. And Shattered... I mean... Sword doesn't really have Banish or anything like that, so... Maybe I actually just do kill this. That's fine. I have Geno next turn. Because if I played Grimnir, he would he would catacombs and then it would be really bad. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna catacombs right now. He might. No, oh, okay. So I was gonna say he might bone Chimera, but he's just gonna go with this. I suppose that's fine. Go this way. He goes face. And then most likely this is gonna try and trade with the one two, and then he's gonna evolve something to trade with the the Gino. If I can get the uh, Lyriel off, I'll be able to trade in. Or I can just play Luminous. Apologies, sir. Orthrus. That's fine. See, now I can play Lyriel Grimnir, and that's Others fine. That's completely acceptable. I do give him a lot of shadows, though. I give him six. Going into turn five. This is not going into turn uh, six or anything. Which is a really powerful turn for uh, for Shadows because of Death's Breath. He could just play Soul Squasher here to kill the 4-3. The Evolve and then kill the 2-3. Then I have the Alitis uh, or the Luminous Mage at this point. Cerberus is the typical turn 5 though, so we're just going to go with this. I can always Tsubaki this. <laughs> Tsubaki is pretty powerful against this. So I think I will. Yeah, otherwise it's going to be kind of painful to deal with it. Like anything else I play dies into it. So, Tsubaki is the best play here, I think. Take my and this goes face. We keep a evolve point. Not that it matters too much, because we do have the Luminous Mage to just give us free evolves. If we play Luminous Mage, evolve next turn, we get uh, 10 damage to the face. Not quite uh, good enough to finish it off here, but we're almost there. Because if I can get that off and then play Owlidas after, and evolve Owlidas, that would be enough. But he's just going to evolve the Bone Chimera and kill here, so... Not quite yet. It's not. That's not something I can do yet. Um. That's a problem. Inside? That's a huge problem. Maybe I just play all light doesn't go face. I think I will. We'll just go face. We have the Fang Blade to deal with big things. But if he plays Ector here, I'm screwed. I'm basically screwed. I didn't really like any of my other plays though. I could have played Luminous, Celestial, I don't know. I just played a ward clearing game, but I think I need to put pressure now. 
before I die to, to his infinite value with Ector and stuff like that. No Ector, so that's good. That's good news. He has to, ha he has to clear basically everything if he doesn't want to die. Because I have Alwaidas, I have Fangblade, I have lots of ways to kill him. So he's going to need to clear basically everything. If he can't deal with this, then I think I just won. He did play a Cerberus, so... He's gonna trade all this manually. So, into... If he plays Mimi here... Uh, okay, no, he's not going to do that. He can deal with it all. He just plays Coco Mimi, right? Zombie party. And trade in. What's he saving the Coco Mimi for? Phantom Home? He didn't use it yet, right? No. That's weird. That's a little strange, you know. <sighs> if I just play all widows and then hit face, what are the chances he can kill me right now? What if I just hit face? It won't be long now. I think Ector can kill me probably, right? <laughs> Ector can do a lot of damage. How oh, does it kill me? He has seven, eight. I mean, it's not enough, I think. Because that would be six from the skeletons. You trade the zombie in. This would be a six, six. And then become an eight, six from Ector. So eight plus six is 14. That's not enough. That's definitely not enough. Which is good! Now I just get to play Fangblade and go face and win! Basically. And by go face, I mean I get to kill his, his Reaper. And win. And Shadow doesn't really have heal, so... I think I think we're good. We're, I think we're good. Like, the only heal that I've seen Shadow made Shadow run is Unica, and that's not even gonna save him here, because that only starts healing at the start of his turn, so... I think we're okay. Catacombs doesn't help him. So... Right, so he's trading. I'm glad that we pushed the initiative when we did then, instead of just trading out. Like, we pushed for face when we did. He doesn't have any tools to... Even even Ward wouldn't save him here, because Fangblade's just amazing. I freaking love this card, man. Fangblade is such a great card! Carried me in ROV, is carrying me now. And he goes face! Ah, oh, I mean, I had the allied as well. Let's, let's finish with Fangblade. Because Fangbei is Bay. Fangbei. You're too strong. Felt good. Ending a game against Mid Shadow with 20 lives. Sarissa. You must die. Well, this is certainly a breath of fresh air. At least it's not Dragon and Shadow. I think we keep the, the Floral Fencer. Having lots of dudes on board against Force is pretty good. The only problem is that, you know, Will of Force can clear. But other than that. If he straight up has Fairy Circle, Fairy Fairy AE, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna be a little... A little tilted. Hey, it see. looks like he has it. Hey, it really looks like he has it. Now he just has to play AE here, right? If he plays AE here, this would be insane. Yeah, I can't deal with that. Yeah, I can't do anything against that. Shit. That's a real problem. I am the mad cyclone. It's a real problem. I'm not gonna pass and waste uh mana though. Ooh, sparkly stuff. Gimme! But that really puts like <laughs> that, that slowed me down a lot. That slowed me down a lot, a lot. All right, we do have the Luminous Mage to catch up a little bit here. Floral Fencer just gets us on the board. He has six. Well, he'll have seven cards in hand. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he has enough to clear with Will. Come on! 
He has more than enough to clear with Will here. Just make that a little less attractive. Yeah. That's fine. So Albert comes out. Subaki, I don't really know what I'm gonna use Subaki for. I guess really big ancient elves. Other than that, not much. It won't be long now. Didn't really have any fairy generation other than the first fairy circle, which is dead. I know it's not dead. He has he has them in hand, right? Yeah, he has them in hand. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. He can make a big elf. You're an intruder. Aaron evolve doesn't actually kill me. You're done for. Doesn't actually get through this. Albert gets through this if I just play Subaki this turn. Oh boy. Trading. It's a little strange. It's just a little bit strange. Why do that? Why do that? Hmm. Okay, so I either play Subaki here or I play... Uh, Maid Leader, Luminous... Oh, I, mean, I, I, I play Luminous Mage and then... Yeah, you know, but if I play Subaki now, I get to play Maid Leader Luminous Mage next turn, which could be good. Alternatively, I can just play Geno and go face. They're all okay. What am I saving Subaki for? Elf Queen, maybe. I think he has Elf Queen for sure. Or I could play Luminous Evolve the Knight. And go face. But that makes my turn 7 worse. I just want to play something on curve, I think. But it's either Gino or Tsubaki. Gino gives me 2 1 1 knights. Tsubaki gives me a 4 3 with ambush. But Tsubaki can also be used as removal for something else. But 4 doesn't have that many targets other than this. Uh, another Aaron, I guess, would also be a target. But he has to evolve it, and uh, Elf Queen would be the other target. By the time he drops Elf Queen, I'll have Fangblade, I think. That's really not that big of a deal, since he was already at 1 health. I mean, it sucks, but, you know, it could have been worse. I'm gonna turn that, though. Okay. It's fine. We can melee leader here. Try and fish for another Albert, but we can play on 9. We're almost there. The good thing is this is free. So we can definitely play Albert on 9 and get Evolve for 10 damage to face. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have quite the board now. Elf Queen only heals him for six. So we'd still have him. We have the Fang Blade for a big threat also. That's really not that big of a deal. He has to, he's gonna have to evolve to clear something. And then I can play Fang Blade. And I have a lot of damage. So he's gonna have to clear something here. He chooses to clear the Luminous. That's fine. Now my evolves aren't free, right? But I win anyway. <laughs> In many different ways I can win. We'll go with the second Tsubaki here for style. And into the face we go. That turned out okay. Another shadow, here we go. Back on the rodeo. These are out. Keeping the Grim near. Taji turn one is good. Now we just get a turn two. And we got a freaking stew going, man. We got a freaking stew going. And we got we got a one, we got a three, we got a four, we got a five. We have one number that's out of the uh, out of the formula here, out of the sequence. We need uh, we need we need it. Let's draw it. Let's go. Here we go. Woo! Perfect. <laughs> Grimnir. Now floral is not that great because you know I can't evolve it in the same turn. Yeah, this is the problem with um not having a 2-2 two, two on 2 is that Catacombs just messes with me right now. Good <sighs> time. Every time. I will play it though. He's gonna kill it. He's gonna try and kill the shit out of it. To put it bluntly. We had the Lumi on fire. Which is good. If you can't kill it, then... There's no way he can't. He has Orthrus or something. It's super easy to kill it. Ow. Has arrived. You 
Boop. I could have saved it, but I really wanted something on the board. Otherwise, this would have been even worse. You and I, knight. My sword brings hope. You are done for. Turn the power of hope to light. Light. Oh, that. Because so we can't evolve it and go face or whatever play he has. This, this leaves him with less play. I am the mad cyclone. Maybe. I'm trading in here? Yeah, I see. Take up Can't afford shield. not to. Not in this situation. The good thing is I have the second Lumi. He was considering trading. You Chose not I to. My sword brings hope. It won't be long now. Turn the power of light. By I don't know why I didn't choose to use the wolf point there. I didn't deem it necessary. Albert Veteran Lancer next turn, if I so desire. A Soul Squasher would kill this. And then he'd be able to trade in pretty easily. So all of my stuff, that would be pretty disastrous. Phantom Owl. Thankfully this doesn't count for, uh, for the Spooky Skeleton. Unless he played like a Sexton there, that would have been terrifying. But I don't think anyone plays Sexton, because Sexton is bad. Okay. Yeah, that's manageable. I won't lose again. Let's go in phase. Didn't evolve. Sky Knights, prepare for battle. I think I trade into it with Albert. Plus, he doesn't have enough for Soul Squasher and no shadows right now. A little blood won't save strike. And he's running out of fuel. He only has three cards in his hand. Unless he has... <sighs> Immortal Fane. That's not really that scary. It's not too bad. So, this goes... That's, that's very nice. <laughs> Strike. The problem is White King. How much Necro is White King? Necro is four. He'll have enough. He'll have enough to get through the ward. But it's okay. If I just Saber, Saber Strike, strike Albert evolves Saber Strike. Next turn I play Fangblade. You're done for. I should be able to kill him. A little blood will saber strike. Ah. Should be able to kill him. No matter what he does here. It's a saber strike face. Every time, every time saber strike. Nothing ever changes. Here we go, Albert Kraft. Come on! I don't think anything does it. There's no way he has lethal. White King doesn't do it. I'll show you. The king of the dead will crush all. White King does so not do it. The end. I'll be down to ten. That doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, Fang Bay. Fang Bay is. Oh, oh, I love this card so much. That feels so good. <laughs> that was MS Noah's mid-range sword, and you know, mid-range swords always is gonna have a place in my heart personally, like on a sentimental level, because it's the deck I used to climb to Masters with from AA3, so you know, it has it has a special place for me, and it feels really good to play it again, you know. Uh, it feels like I'm coming back home a little bit. That's it for this video, like it if you did, don't if you didn't, subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future, and of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons, you have my eternal gratitude. If you'd like to support the channel as well, you can head on over to patreon.com slash ignidious. And if not, that's fine too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye